Looniform Guy here, and this is the Belts TVB 18,000 by Belts, Servertex, and Agritono on Farming Simulator 22 is for all platforms, PC Racket Console. I'm on PS5 here on the Georgia Farms map, and this is 28.05 megabytes uh, to download. 13 slots on console. These are slurry tanks, tools, and slurry tanks. There we go, is where you'll find them. And there they are, the TB18000 for $45,000. Let's look at that one, 180 horsepower, 18 meter working width, spread width, uh, sorry, no, 18,000 liter capacity, 12 meter spreading width, pardon me, nine mile per hour working speed, digestate and slurry. Uh, there isn't a whole lot of options. We have the wheel brands, Trillborg, BKT, Nokian, Michelin, Verticine, and Trillborg. We can pick our, uh, styles or the type of tire there and it's some nice variety actually nokian even has a couple of three looks like uh, michelin is standard vertisine standard and then back to trailer park so whatever you wish now piston color piston where is the piston ah uh, yes that piston so that's the only color option you have, the piston for the uh, decorative pipe, at least on uh, console. Um, it doesn't say it's compatible with any other mod. So pipe pumps and hoses or manure system or anything like that, I don't see any, yeah. I don't see any compatibility. I have precision farming. It's not set up for that either. So just so you know. So anyone can use it. Um, it is what it is. Looking at the TB18000 with incorporated bars, $60,000. We have the same capacity horsepower rating, but it's 18 meter working width at nine miles per hour, digest eight and slurry. Again, we have the wheel brand, same options here, exactly the same as we did with the other one. It's just that this one has the drag bar built into it. So, as you can see here, I have one of each. Let's uh, hop into this one. Let's get our help window on. Oh, it was already running. It's been one of those days already. All right, so let's back up. There we go. All right. So the capacity, you know the capacities, I f it's easy to fill up. Let's go ahead and hire a worker here. We'll just show you, not there, let's go this way. Uh, we have lights. We have some nice uh, sequential LED type lights. I really like those, that's nice. Other than that, we have L1 and right stick left and right. So that will put down that uh, suction pipe if you want to play with that that's up to you and up and down you can adjust that front uh, hitch to suit your needs here we go hire a worker that's the animation for the spreading of the slurry or digestate really nice it's a nice um, uh, animation now as uh, as he turns around we'll show you that Actually very um, economical in its uh, movements. It will, excuse me, it will miss a little bit at the ends as you can see there. Um, because of the triangular type spreading, the way it spreads, there's going to be, oh, it's kind of hard to see up here. See, there we go. See those little spots? You're going to have little spots like that at the ends. Uh, and it doesn't matter if you do a headland or not. All right. Now you won't have that issue with the drag hose because it is straight across as we will show you. And this is, uh, these are the medium Massey Ferguson tractors. And they just do just fine, 200, 210. I put a, this one with a little bit more horsepower because it has the drag hose, but it still recommends 180 horsepower. So it's nothing, it's actually not, not that, um, yeah, hard to 
hard to operate. Now, uh, as soon as you place it down, you notice that it's you raised it up. L1, put it down. It turns it on automatically. So we'll just hire a worker here, and as you can see, the hose kind of deposits the slurry directly, like very close down to the grounds to to just. Have in real life, it makes a big difference. In this game, it doesn't really so much. But here we go, the turnaround. Now it's much wider of a spread, but the same capacity. So you're going to run out a little bit faster time-wise. But coverage is going to be basically, should be exactly the same. Just a little quicker because um, it's going a little wider. And there we go. Very nice. Just the tiniest bit of overlap, which is fine, because there's always that, you know, thing with the, the weirdness with the game and the, the fields and stuff like that. But anyways, um, yeah. There you have it. That's the Belts TVB18000 by Belts Servertex and Agritono on Farming Simulator 22. Thank you all for watching, and remember... It's only a game, so till the next one, bye for now.